Hi there, um, I just want to record this short lecture um, looking at applying Merton strain theory to white collar crime, um, which I've mentioned in a previous lecture. Um, some of you didn't quite um, do this correctly, so I thought it would be helpful for me just to talk you through it, because again, this is something I would normally do in class um, step by step. Um, so the idea with Merton never applied strain theory to white collar crime. Merton was very much of the view that crime was a working class phenomena. OK, uh, but I want you guys to have a go at applying him to, you know, white collar crime, crimes of the rich, crimes of the powerful, because that will just show that you're able to think outside of the box, if you like, a bit when it comes to this particular theory. Um, so when we think about strain theory, um, it's the idea that, you know, everybody is socialised to desire material success, which includes the middle classes. Uh, and I asked you guys to think about, well, why might they still suffer strain, even though they're materially wealthy? Um, and the ideas were, well, particularly if they might suffer what's a sense of almost like relative deprivation. So relative deprivation is like when you might be fairly well off or you might be actually be poor, uh, but perhaps you see someone or you see a group that's doing better than you. So you feel deprived. OK, you feel relatively deprived. So a middle class person, they might want to send their kids to private school, for example, because everybody else in their social group sends their kids to private school. Um, the problem is they might not uh, they might have not got that promotion. OK, that allows them to afford to send their kid to a private school um, or they might live in a lovely big house like the one you can see in my picture. Um, but their neighbour has got an even bigger house and their neighbours maybe just put in a swimming pool. So even though they might have a lovely house, they might feel a sense of strain because they haven't got the big house. They haven't got the swimming pool um, like everybody else, perhaps. OK, so that can lead to a sense of strain, a sense of frustration, um, a sense of almost anime, really. Like, you know, perhaps they don't feel like they belong with their group, the middle class, well off group, perhaps, because they're not able to achieve these higher material goals. So like much more expensive material goals. Um, so then I ask you guys to think about what crimes they might commit. Um, so we've got um, in that image there, you've got tax evasion, perhaps. Uh, they might employ, they might be an accountant themselves, because obviously that's a, a white collar profession accountancy. So they might know how to move their money into an offshore account on a, a remote island, a tropical island uh, that has very relaxed tax law. Um, and as a result, avoid paying income tax like the rest of us might have to. They might embezzle money from their employer. Um, so again, if they are in accountancy or banking, they might know how to, if you like, uh, siphon off funds into their own account. OK, and maybe the people they work for or that their clients might not realise that they're sort of taking some of their money. Um, uh, so, yeah, all types of financial fraud would be classed as like a white collar crime. Um, so I'm going to take you through how I would approach this paragraph. So in sociology, and this is a paragraph that you'd write as part of a 30 mark essay, by the way. So I'm looking for a real depth of analysis here. Um, and your analysis really does come from going into detailed, I'd say detailed explanation and using examples. And um, that's how you get really good analysis in sociology. So here we go. Uh, using strain theory to explain white collar crime. You've got to start off with your point. Um, here's my point. Merton's strain theory can be used to explain white collar crime as his theory explains that crime occurs where there's a strain between society's goals and an individual's ability to achieve them legally. And there, my example here, I've used the example of an investment banker. So, for example, an investment banker uh, might have goals of their own which they cannot afford, such as sending their children to private school like others in their social group. Um, and then I need to explain why this then might lead to crime. So this can lead to a sense of strain and the goal becomes more important than achieving it legally. They then may respond to strain by the innovator route. So take part in a legal activity in order to achieve the material goal, which in this case is private school, such as financial fraud. Therefore, strain theory can also explain white collar crime as well as working class crime. So a really clear link back to the question. So links uh, effectively should always reuse the language of the question. OK, that's what examiners are looking for. Really, it's almost like simple. Like, look, this is me clearly answering the question. 
Um, so in terms of evaluation, I've used Marxism, which I appreciate you wouldn't have been able to do when I set this originally because I hadn't actually taught you the Marxist evaluation. So apologies for that, but hopefully you'll find this useful. So to evaluate. However, Marxists would argue that the middle class don't commit crime because they're struggling to reach expensive goals, but instead commit crime because they know they can get away with it. White collar crime is poorly policed, which means there is no deterrent. So the rich make a rational choice to offend as they won't get caught. So that is my example of a paragraph explaining how strain theory um, can help us understand white collar crime. Like I said before, Merton never did this, okay, but I think you can use strain theory to understand why um, the rich will also commit crime as well. So please use this to perhaps improve the paragraph that you wrote. Um, if you think you were completely off the mark, um, you know, you can write your own version of this paragraph. You're also welcome just to co copy this paragraph word for word. But please just make sure you've got a copy of it in your notes with your strain theory notes. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye.